Hello VC, welcome back to my next video. MoFi, Bob Dylan, part two. So what is there to say about Bob Dylan? Quite a lot and we will close the series with the second part, which means there are quite some records to go through. So I hope it's worthwhile and let's start with this beauty, Blonde on Blonde, box set, and it's a box set because this is a double album, and quite a special double album. This is the first double album in the history of rock. Before there has been one double uh, uh, album from Benny Goodman, as a jazz record, but not original recordings. This one is the first real double album in the history of rock music. And quite an album, it's a great one. It's a gorgeous recording, gorgeous, gorgeous songs on it. Came out in 1966 and MoFi did a tremendous job with, with this one. And it's stereo, not mono. And uh, Highly, highly recommended, although this edition is not available anymore, it's out of print, but still worthwhile to get it as long as there are some copies out there. Highly recommended, great job by Krieg Wunderlich again, gorgeous one. Next we go only very short in this edition because this is a MoFi one step from Bob Dylan Blood on the Tracks. I will put that one out again for the second or third part of the one step MoFi's. Just want to show it here and this much I can say it's gorgeous. Keep that one for another video. Next record, Nashville Skyline. And, and this is again a mobile Fidelis sound set. That means there hasn't been an original master, so they had to go with other sources. But still a very, very beautiful edition. Great, great sounding, gorgeous recording. Again, highly recommended. It's available up to now. That or this may change quite soon with all the older Dylans. You never know. If you're into it, get it while well, it's out there for reasonable prices. And now, with these editions, John Wesley Harding, Mono and Stereo Edition. This is the Mono one, and the Mono has an original master recording as its source. Yeah, so. And gorgeous recording, gorgeous pressing. I really love that record. And if you ask me which one to get, the mono or the stereo you know the collector in me says of course I get both because I want to uh, compare some songs or, or because the mono and the stereo editions are quite different and it's always striking to hear the difference and both versions have have their own beauty of course this one is not the stereo one is not from an original master, but still a gorgeous sounding experience, a gorgeous sounding pressing. And it's quite hard for me to, to, to say which one to go. At the moment, I, up to now, I'm very much into those mono recordings in general. I like those mono recordings. They are very special to me. I really like them. So I usually tend to say go for the mono, but that also may change over the years, over time. So at the moment I'd say slightly advantage on the mono recording side, but that's a very narrow uh, decision. Don't take this uh, 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 too serious. Both are outstanding. Here we have quite an interesting edition. It's, it's Bob Dylan and the band live concert. Not a 45 round per minute like the others. Live Contact is a 33 double album and, and again, 
what they put on this record. I have a very old German pressing and this one smokes it. It's They are doing great jobs over there, this Krieg Wunderlich and his team. Although it's again not an original pressing, it's a marvelous, beautiful, beautiful edition. It has been out of print for quite some time, but, but at the moment you can get copies, which is a good thing and an important thing, but also this one. I don't think that this one will be out there much, much longer and that you will get the chance to obtain it for very long now. Highly recommend it. And now for my not my favorite but but very close to one I, I love that album i love this recording bob dylan desire the the main song for me the main song uh, hurricane goes over one side of this edition i think it's around nine minutes it's it's an, i love that song i love the story behind it with the boxer who is in prison and and probably on on not 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 uh, uh, not by right, I hope that's correct, I put that correctly. Uh, this record is, is, is outstanding, I, I, I really love it. And also the edition of this one, those 40, this 45 round per minute edition of, of Bob Dylan's Desire is outstanding. It's a gorgeous recording, gorgeous pressing of a gorgeous iconic uh, release. Um, this one is not in print, it's out of print already and the prices are going higher and higher and higher for this release but still not in an absolute crazy way. There are sometimes copies in good conditions where you can think of maybe if you don't have it already where, where you think about uh, getting it without doing, without spending too much. Of course those releases are expensive from the beginning they are around when they come out they are around 49 dollars which of course is quite a lot for a record and in, in in cases when they are out of print by the morphis they go around 80 to to 350s depending on the real market situation and the importance of the record and of course of the uh, importance of of the artist so and, and Bob Dylan, I think, is quite an important artist up to, to now. Up to now, he got the Nobel Prize for Literature and it's, it's a li still living legend. He put out a record this year and, and I haven't heard it, by the way, but I will. And uh, what I've heard sounds very promising, very interesting. But this one, in my opinion, is, is, is one of his best. So now for some newer releases which are still in print, which you really can get relatively easy. This is quite new. It's it's an, uh, a Pat Garrett and Billy the Kid. It's it's a movie from uh, Sam Peckinpah, I think. And beautiful edition from an original master, 33 round per minute. And this contains one of his or maybe the biggest hit, I don't know, but, but probably one of his biggest hits, uh, Knocking on Heaven's Door, gorgeous song. This, is, this song is on, on this record and it goes with this newer MoFi label design where they put this uh, half circle of the color of the uh, uh, top of the record. I quite like that they do it, it give, give some more color to the releases. So this one, of course, again, is highly recommended and available. Also a very fresh, very new release. Bob Dylan, Oh Mercy. Beautiful cover, I think. Gorgeous release. And again here with the new half circle. Again, and this is quite often with these Bob Dylans, not taken from the original master from a secondary to tool, very rock and roll, rock, it's, it's a great one, 
not my favorite one but still I'm very happy to have it and I think this one is strictly limited to 3000 that happens a lot to the new MoFi releases the new um, uh, Johnny Cash who's life at falls in prison the the train the new ones the the uh, um, a lot of those new releases are strictly limited to 3000 and that means probably that they are not so long out there as we are used to it. So we don't have the usual time frame uh, as we are used to with the MoFi's. Highly recommended, gorgeous pressing. The next one is also a 33 round per minute. Bob Dylan, New Morning, iconic recording, really like it. Very nice pressing, again, not an original master, but still a good sounding edition. I can't compare those to earlier releases because honestly, I don't have any. But I'm very happy with this release. Maybe you write down in the comments what you think about this release, if you can compare this release with others. I can't in that case. Or in this case I never know when that or this sorry and the last one and then we close the doors behind the Bob Dylan series because that's all I have I think that's are all that are out there except the best of there is a Bob Dylan best of which I don't know if I should get it or not if you have it Give me a recommendation. Should I buy it? Should I wait? Do I need it? What do you recommend? Should I buy the greatest hits edition from MoFi from Bob Dylan? This one, on the other hand, is again a beauty. Very, very good recording, very good pressing. It's from an original master. And this one is also highly recommended. Get it while it's out there. We are talking about Bob Dylan, so no question. <laughs> okay, thank you for your time. Hope you liked the Bob Dylan series. First one, which is closed, which is done. I don't know how to handle things. They, they announced a love and theft from Bob Dylan, which can, can came out in two months, in three months, in two years. You never know that with MoFi. Of course, I won't make a single part from from love and theft. So I will. I, I think something. I, I think about something. How I put uh, uh, things like when they do out a new Bob Dylan. How I put that in that series. There will be a solution. I'm quite sure. Okay, like always. Thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed. See you on my next video. Bye.